Hey everybody, and welcome back to Wintermoor Tactics Club. And before I get started, let me thank everybody for watching. The first episode of this has went over very well on the channel. Tons of views, uh, so I recorded the first two episodes before seeing the results, and now I'm seeing the results of the first episode in my analytics, and it looks absolutely great, so thank you again. I'm going to try to put more videos out of this uh, more quickly, so maybe daily episodes. Normally, for a series, I put about uh, two to three uh, days, you know, a, a day or two uh, between uh, between episodes, so probably we'll try to get this out a little more quickly because it seems like it's it's very popular. So, let's see, we need to scout out the psychic detectives. Alright, well, let's get to it. And this episode may be a little longer because I, I do want to try to get to that, uh, you know, that having every episode be a... One side quest here. What is the side quest? What, what, what's the side quest? Excuse me, hold on, sorry. Side quests? That's completed quests. Uh, main quest, completed quests. So it's a side quest that I haven't picked up yet? I tried to start up a practical jokers joke jokesters union on campus, but everyone who signed up put down a hilarious fake identity. Um, so what I was trying to say was, don't talk to me about that West Coast team. This year we're going to beat them for sure. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm going to try to make the episodes based on the uh, based on the chapters. So I may have to push them out a little bit. Maybe that's still not going to work. Maybe the chapters are too long. But we'll find out. I don't know where to start with the prank. That boy in your club seems like he would know the one slumming it with sunglasses. Okay, so you already would have given me the hint. Who has the... I just wanted to find a... I never really cared about all that monarchy stuff anyway. I just wanted to find a club in need of my talents. So... Do I not know the side quest? Am I thinking about this very wrong? Hey, Septi Septavia? Yeah, so you, you don't want me to go talk to Septavia. Okay, so do I have to talk to Colin? Oh, yes, he had the uh, the exclamation point over his head. Okay, so that tells me. Oh, hey, Alicia, I can give you back that book you loaned me. Just let me know when you want it. Um, hang out with Colin. I'll get the book later. No, let's hang out with Colin and see what happens. So, what did you think? I didn't finish it, actually. I appreciate you loaning it to me, but it was much too sci-fi for a fantasy book. Huh? It's called Dragon Quest. It has dragons in it. I should have known. Pattern Master and Left Hand of Darkness were too weird. Elric of Melnabone wasn't heroic enough. To be fair, you've never read a, the book I suggested. I actually tried. It was just a little, uh, detailed? Detailed? Of course it is. It's the mythological primer for the world... It, for the most important fantasy book ever written. Decades of lore and world building went into it. That's what makes it great. Um, is it the Silmarillion? It's just, you know, there's all kinds of exciting stuff happening in fantasy, right? You don't have to just read a handful of books by the same guy over and over. But why mess with perfect stories? There's a reason why all other fantasy books are derived from the works of one author. You are talking about Tolkien, aren't you? A lighthearted adventure, the ultimate heroic quest, and a classic creation myth. What more could you possibly want? Maybe more than two women across the entire set of books? Alicia, that's why I wanted you to read this one. It has powerful and important goddesses. There's the forest mother and giver of fruits who makes things grow, and the gentle goddess with the power to heal all hurts. Yeah, that still sounds very stereotypical, like, female archetypes. All I'm trying to say is that it can be good to read things that are different. I think it could be worth it to step outside your comfort zone a little. You might learn all sorts of magic and monsters and heroes you never thought were possible. If I read your book, 
would you give Left Hand of Darkness another shot? <laughs> All right, if it means that much to you, deal. All right, we got an upgrade for Eilwald, Logist, Log <laughs> Logician's Shield. Eilwald's basic attacks cause enemies to deal minus one damage for one turn. All right, you got an upgrade, I understand, thank you. He doesn't have an upgrade yet, so there you go. And now we can get out and go. So now we understand that if they have the dot 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 above their head, they just want to talk. If, um... If they have the exclamation point over their head, they have a quest to give us. Alright, let's go to the stadium and find the psychic detectives. Don't want to start the battle yet. Oh, hey, the psychic detectives. Let's just walk over to them. Oh, or not. Shh, that's them. I mean, if they're psychic, they know we're there. Critical! We have breaking new evidence in the case of the spotted owl. It turns out the receipts for the baseball equipment we found were in... We... we excuse me. It turns out the receipts for the baseball equipment were found in Mr. Doran's trash can. Handel discovered them. Um, yeah. I thought maybe trash cans were a good place to find evidence that people try and get rid of. Don't sell yourself short. You found it because your great psychic instincts led you to that spot. I uh, don't think it was psychic. Remember your mantra. Recite it to protect against evil and failure. Um, sure. What's your mantra handle? I am a good psychic. And my powers are really strong. Exactly. Excellent. Now all that remains to close the case is to have the twins watch the bird feeders for abnormally large pigeons. Have the twins watch the bird feeders? Roger. Now, to the next case. The case of the psychic detectives totally thrashing the pants off that weird tactics club. Indeed. Let us focus our energies and meditate on sensing the club's weaknesses. I mean, can you sense that we're standing right next to you? Focus your mind on the tactics club. Uh, I think I sense them. Do you? Oh crap, scatter! Everyone meet back at the club room! You've scouted the psychic detectives. When it's time to battle them, you'll get a bonus for knowing their strategy. Alright, well hey guys, how's it going? Let's check the uh let's check the bracket here. There's a tournament bracket. Everyone in the snowball tournament is listed here. Let's see where we are. Looks like we're fight fighting the Psychic Detectives. They just beat the League of Extraordinary Temperance. Alright, and then the Equestrian Club beat the Reckless Baking Club. I, I want to know what Reckless Baking is all about. The Knitting Club beat the Bird Watching Club. So, is the Equestrian Club going to beat the Knitting Club? Probably, from the previews of the game I've seen. So, we'll beat the Psychic Detectives and then we'll have to go up against the Equestrian Club. Hey guys, Skipper, why should I even bother talking to a nobody like you? And Lance, how's your nerd club doing playing your nerd games? Ha, zing. Alright, bye guy. Oh, we'll just walk past there, that's fine. And then uh, back to the classrooms, I take it. For tactics club time. Start the snowball fight. I should let Colin know we're ready. Alright, Colin. We're ready, buddy. Alright, we've got special moves. We've gathered intel. There's just one more thing to do. I've been saving these for a tough fight. Uh, upgrade unlocked. Upgrade for Anjaya the Outsider Staff. Anjaya's basic attacks deal plus one damage if they have three or more targets. Upgrade for Rogi, Respectable Light Clothes. Rogi's basic attack gives plus two, ta plus two tactics points when hitting an enemy with a negative status effect. In Tread Fast Boots, Edwald gains plus one movement and push one on his basic attacks. Whenever you're ready, I think we're prepared to take on those detective guys, but I'll leave the final call up to you. Um, yeah, there's some stuff I want to finish up first, like look at those things you gave me. Oh yeah, so that's the problem. So since we can only have one upgrade slot, we have to decide what we want. Do we want to be able to chain through friendlies or do plus one damage if they have three or more targets? I'm going to do plus one damage, I think. I just wanted to see if it would change our uh, 
our character art over here. It does not. Rogi, do I want to give you plus one damage to unhurt enemies? Or plus two tactics points when hitting an enemy with a negative static status effect? Um, I don't know how many negative status effects we're going to give people, so let me just give you the, the plus one damage to unhurt enemies. And do I want to give you plus minus one damage for one turn? Or cause enemies to have minus one damage for one turn? Or do I want to give you plus one movement and push one? I think I want to give you plus one movement. That sounds important to be able to get into place. Alright, let's go fight those, uh... Let's go fight those detective guys. Let's go. <laughs> Opponents! No need to introduce yourselves. We, the psychic detectives, already know all about you. We've foreseen our victory. You don't have a chance. Yeah. Uh. Tough words for a bunch of dorks who run around campus yelling about ghosts all the time. So, you're like detectives who are psychic? Or you detect psychics? Or... Actually, I'm a psychic in training. Disgraceful. You've made Hendel get down on himself. You truly are villains. Tactics Club. Do you think the shadows of destiny... You think you can see the shadows of destiny without a candle? Hmm. Then let's see this battle be the spark to illuminate your path of truth. Quiet, Scarlet. We're going to take you down. Okay, so we have uh, we can place characters now. You can choose where your heroes start in some battles. Once you place your characters, press enter, enter battle to start. I would like to know more about these people. Close targets the closest person to you. Uh, you have a magical attack that does chaining, so we do not want to bunch up. Uh, you are a defensive person. You want to cast magical shield against people. Okay. You want to target the closest uh, ally, I guess. And Scar- you want to attack whoever is attacking Scarlet. And you do a, again, a magical attack with range. Loses one magical armor, spreads attacks with chaining. Yeah, so we probably want to avoid bunching up. So let's put... Put Jaya here to attack you. Rogue, I want you to rush forward. You, I mean, maybe not rush forward. You could probably draw them to us. So maybe that's a good idea. And you, I don't want you to be... I don't want them to be able to chain through us. So let's go. Let's enter battle. From scouting the psychic detectives, you're ready for their psychic abilities. You will gain one magical armor for this battle. Spying on future clubs is optional. It can be tricky, but you'll gain helpful bonuses. All right, well, um... There's no point in using your Brilliant Beam, even though it hurts more. Um, don't want to use it because... Because there's not a line of people. So let's just move forward one space. Let's uh, spark you. Now let's, um, let's talk about you. If we grappling hooked, so we could move one back and be able to grappling hook you forward. Yes, I think that's a good idea. Can I please uh, grappling hook you? We'll do three damage. All right, and then Edward, can you come here? Since we don't want to be touching. And, uh, just Righteous Strike somebody. So I do see we share a tactics points. Okay, so I was thinking everyone had their own bar, but we share as a team. My arm is the arm of fate. The snow is the will of the cosmos. 
Tactics Club, can you stand before what fate has in store for you? She moves back. She attacks us with a simple magical thing that doesn't chain because no one's touching. You are not in Mag Magamist or Magmist or whatever. I'm not very good at fighting, but I can still help my friends. Alright, so you put a shield against her. A shield on her. Now we're in that mag mist, which means we have some kind of debuff. This is it! I think we're focused enough for a special move. Of course. Uh, just because we can doesn't mean we have to. We should wait for the right moment. We're the tactics club, after all. Yeah, so what's your mag mist? Lose one magical armor. It spreads attacks with uh, chaining. So yeah, let's, let's not worry about that then. You can just finish her off, right? Because does she have... She has no magical armor, she has no physical armor, and you do three damage, and you do two damage. Um, no, that's your grappling hook. Your main attack does three damage. Okay, yes. So you can kill her just outright. Goodbye, Scarlet. Hmm, has my time upon this stage really expired so swiftly? No, you're not going to do any damage to us. You just want to shield people, so I don't care about you. I mean, I could... Honestly... Just zap you. Which I may want to do. Yeah, let's just zap you. So Anjaya can channel all her powers into a single beam, and that means, um, that means I can do this. Yeah, you can definitely do it. Um, no, you're not in Mag Magmist anymore, whatever we said. Yeah, Magimist. Magi Mist. And, uh, we won't be able to kill you this turn, but you're in trouble. Unforgivable. I must protect my friends and this school from you miscreants. You're gonna psychic shout at me. Oh boy. Useless. You can't dodge a psychic. We can predict exactly where you'll be and hit you with a snowball. And you're gonna... Shield her. That's fine. And then you turned your back for some reason. What that's all about. You have points. Oh, sweet. Um, oh, you can't, actually, because we just used it. Darn it. That would have been very nice if we could have done that. Yeah, so I guess I could just stun this fool. Let's move forward. Let's, uh... Let's just knock you out. Unacceptable. I can't fall here. I have to protect the school. Protect the school from what? You, with the hat. You've been hit by about a dozen snowballs. You're definitely out. Alright, then let's, uh... I'm just gonna surround this joker. I'm the only one left. What should I do? Handel, you must not unleash your true power. It's not worth it. If you lose control of your incredible psychic abilities, the whole world could be in danger. Um, I guess I'll just stand here then? Yeah, so he doesn't have any points. The only thing he can do is, is shield people. Um, let's just stun, hammer, slam you then. Oop. A paladin's conviction is his strength. A paladin's triumph. A paladin triumphs because he does what's right. Yeah, man. S scary yelling. Yell until they're too scared to move. And I don't have a... I don't have the ability to end the turn. Or end the... Uh, the battle this time because he's just out of range unless I can target a space I think that's it for me I should go stage complete man just killing it 
staggeringly super savvy. Surely they'll tell me what I can do with these things at some point. Inconceivable. How? How could this happen? Scarlet, is this what you foresaw? Scarlet, you know this means we'll be disbanded, right? You understand this means that we can't protect everyone from what's coming. What's coming, Scarlet? Everything is as it must be. Good. Good job, you guys. Don't congratulate the enemy. Whatever. Since you've beaten us, you'd better be the ones to win this now. I won't forgive you losing to anyone else. Alright, bye, Scarlet. Alicia, may I speak with you for a moment? Uh, sure. What do you know about the future, Scarlet? Sar, events are now in motion. I sense you will play a pivotal role in overcoming our true opponent. Alicia, there is something you must do. Huh? Me? Not now, but I foresee you encountering an artifact of great significance. When this happens, bring it to me. From it, we shall learn the nature of our true opponent. Farewell. Hello, Principal. That's two down, Tactics Club. You're really on a roll. How does it feel? Uh, not great, because what are we doing to these other clubs? Uh, kind of awful, actually. Now, now, that's no attitude for a club of your caliber. Just think, now you're one step closer to becoming the ultimate club. You should be proud. Anyway, you'll receive your next opponent assignment in the morning. I hope you're looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm not really. But thanks, I guess. Chapter complete. And another dream sequence, huh? With Septavia? Who is... Oh, it's Septavia. I uh, wasn't expecting to run into you here. No. Do not speak to me. You are a disappointment. Huh? Uh, what? What? I'm not... I tried really hard to fight for my club and we won. Huh. That is exactly the problem. Here in this elite academy, you're wasting your time on that worthless club and your childish fantasies. Oh. It... We're not worthless. Fantasy can help people. Hmm. Alicia, this world is not a game. There are people counting on us. People looking up to us. There are those who want to f us to fail and those who are desperate for us to succeed. Think about all the sacrifices others made for us to get here. Um, to make it this far. Think of all the hate they endured and for what? So you could waste this opportunity with some meaningless fantasy? Is... Is this a race thing? Is this a... You're a, a person of color and you should be taking this more seriously because other people didn't have this opportunity? The world is watching, Alicia. But I... I don't want to be student council president. I shouldn't have to be. Fantasy can change the world too. Why can't I just succeed in my own way? You have to do everything right, Alicia. There's no room for failure. Even the slightest mistake and they will tear you apart for it. Or is this a female thing? Like you females didn't have this opportunity and you shouldn't be wasting it playing games. No. Or both. The intersection. I don't talk to me. Go run back to your little club. You apparently can't handle the real world. No. Um. I can help people. I know I can. Keep it unlocked. Psy Snowball. Save your game. Yes, please. Chapter 3. Um. Is that a... Are you making robot horses? Introducing the Equestrian Club. We're almost there. Almost there. Of course someone named Chelsea would be in the Equestrian Club. It just sounds right. Don't get ahead of don't get ahead of yourself. We have to win the snowball fight first. Ah, we're fighting the Tactics Club? Sounds like they'll be even harder than knitting team. I know, it's hopeless. When the school took away our horses, did we give up Equestrian Club? No, we adapted, evolved. We made Equestrian Club stronger than ever. We're survivors, Minnie, and we have one last trick up our sleeve. You can't mean. 
Yay! This is gonna be so much fun! Tomorrow, we have fun. Today, we survive. Well, who knew Equestrian Club was so hardcore? Rise and shine, students. It's time to celebrate. Today is the beginning of Wintermore Spirit Week. It's time to express your true feelings about your beloved school. As such, there is a list of mandatory spirit activities posted in all classrooms and clubrooms. I look forward to seeing the beautiful artistry this will surely inspire in each and every one of you. What? We have mandatory activities? A spirit week now? When the school is forcing us to fight? Ugh. I guess I'll go check with the boys, see what's on the list. Visit Tactics Club. There's some kind of list of mandatory activities. Alright. Hey, uh, Candace. Hey, Isabella. How's that, uh, job working? See, the problem with school clubs is that they're subject to school authority. That's why you should only join underground organizations like fight clubs. Well, sure. Okay, what's this? Hold on. Excuse me. No, go back. Go back. Go back. I didn't mean to click that. I want to see what this... Once you're Raven, you're Raven for life. That's all it was. Nothing on the notice board? Okay, I guess not. Alright, so we know where the side quests are. That's very helpful that they pop up. So let's go to the quad and see what the side quest is. You have the side quest? You do, Donnie! Hey, listen up. I got a real important job for you. Uh, this seems like a bad idea, but okay, what? I'm not touching that with a 10-foot pole. No, what do you want? I feel like I'm going to regret even asking, but what is it? There's some arcade tokens. Phoenix Arcade. Real hot property. I hid them behind one of the easels in the art room. And you want me to go get them for you? Oh, heck no. I can't be seen near that stuff. I need you to get rid of them for me. Just, you know, maybe find someone who appreciates them. Okay, I guess I'll see what I can do. Find the suspicious tokens in the art rooms. Alright. I can find some suspicious tokens. In the art room. Hello, uh, joke girl. This is the art room, yes. I don't think these little things were hanging. I think this is Spirit Week stuff. Now they have the little cute little ravens hanging up. Um, Gerald, do you know where it's, I can find some tokens? I heard they're going to hang the best posters in the... Paul, I'm sure I'll be there. Uh, you must be, uh... I'm sure you're from, from Art Club, huh? Yeah, I know. I'm looking for the tokens. I know you don't need to draw anything, but can you please find me some tokens? Oh, there's the tokens. Excuse me. I didn't expect them to be a giant pile. Oh, hey. These must be the arcade tokens that Donnie talked about. They're as big as your face. I guess I'll take these? Ugh. I feel like I'm going to get in trouble just being near them. I guess I should find someone who doesn't care about getting in trouble as fast as I can. Um, would anyone in Tactics Club appreciate these remarkably suspicious tokens? Why are arcade tokens suspicious? So I know I'm supposed to visit Tactics Club. I don't, kind of don't want to do that right now because I don't want to start the main quest. So let's see what else we have. Admin building, one side quest. Hey, uh... Todd, how you feeling, buddy? Hey there. Oh, hi. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Uh, what was that? Oh, I said, um, hi. How are you? I, you. Just come on and say you like Alicia. Let us know. Uh, there's kind of maybe something I want to tell you. Or show you, I mean, if that's okay. If you have the time. Sure, what's up? I, uh, oh god, I can't say it. Um, there's a note, um, at the stadium? Under the bench? I, um, what if it's important? Maybe you should take a look. You want me to get you a note? Sure, I guess I could do that. Yeah, it's a note from Todd to you. The stadium under a bench. Hello, Tactics Club members. I think Johnny has decided she's going to join your club. Um, apologies in advance for any trouble she causes. The course affixed now quickens, but it will... Will it wend towards good or ill? Uh, good, I hope. Yes, Alicia, you must always hope. Alright, well, bye. Um, how do I get some... Oh, there's the benches. Alright. There's Todd's note, but it's right near where Septavia is standing. It looks like she's in the middle of important student council business. That's probably really serious. I really don't want to bother her. Yeah, Todd won't mind if I wait a bit to find his note, right? 
It would be best if, for everyone, if I just came back when Septavia is gone. Oh, come on, don't... Don't chicken out now, get the note. Yeah, you're gonna chicken out, okay. Well, can these guys make her go away? Hey, don't tell Lance, but there's a chance he'll have to face me in the tournament. Okay. The football team's gonna win this tournament, and there's nothing you can do about it. Alright. Hi, guys. Well, I can't get your note, uh... Can't get your note, Todd, so... I guess we'll just go to the classroom. Hey, guys. So, hey, hey, so I was thinking about uh, Spirit Week stuff, and... Behold! Tactics Games Club, or Table Games Club, that's that's not even our name. Um, it is I, Savior of the School. Um, you may have busted up our club, but there's important work still to be done at the school. If the psychic detectives can't complete our quest, then you'll have to. Luckily, I'm here to help you by joining your feeble club. Uh, no thank you? Hasty. You won't be saying that when you see what I've brought. What have you brought? Talk to Colin and Jacob, talk to Janya, read the note outside the stadium, I cannot. Um... Talk to Jacob. Enough about the weird psychic chick for a second. Shouldn't we be more upset about this whole spirit week? They don't ex they don't seriously expect us to perform their propaganda rituals, do they? You're talking about that spirit week, week announcement from earlier, right? Have you seen the activities we're expected to do? No, no I haven't. Not yet. Here, I copied them down. Let's see. Essay on why we feel safe and unthreatened at Wintermore. A poster on the theme, we don't need clubs to have a good time. A raven-themed fashion show? Is he trying to tick us off? And on top of that, we have a battle with the equestrian club coming up. Those riding kids? I thought their club already disbanded when the school stopped keeping horses. Apparently not. Forget those horse girls. The whole system is corrupt. Man, this is getting old. I'm gonna start a protest fire. Uh, yeah, maybe let's not do that? Let me know if either of you want to join the fight that really matters. Bye. Well, didn't expect you to wander off. This sucks. Yeah, but what are we gonna do? Get some markers, I guess. Members of Tactics Club will sometimes hang out in different areas of the school. They're still available to play C&C. &C. If you find them outside the club room, they might have interesting information or just want to hang out. Alright, so, um... Make a deal with Jania. Pick an outfit. Create a poster. Write an essay. Read the note outside the stadium. Find someone who wants suspicious, suspicious tokens. There you go. Okay, Jania, what do you want? Be old. The hyper rare Psychomancer's Curses and Catacombs rulebook. Oh, so you know the game. I found it while researching my powers in the library. I have taken the liberty of preparing a character based on this clearly superior class. Oh yeah, it's pretty super rare because no one wanted to buy it, so they stopped printing it. The Psychomancer class is totally broken. It ruins the game. Denied. You have yet to behold the fearsome yet likable character I've created. No way. I won't be the Catacomb Master for a Psychomancer. We don't even know you. Wait, you need me. What I mean to say is, I'll help you learn the hidden truth about the Snowball Tournament but only if you help me on my quest. And let me play this character. Still, no. Actually, uh, Colin, I've kind of been wanting to try my hands as Catacomb Master for a bit. Maybe I could run a session. That way, you wouldn't have to write anything for her. You want to run your first adventure with a Psychomancer? Are you kidding? She seems really rude. And besides, she's from an enemy club. Aren't you worried about her being a spy? She doesn't have a club anymore, it's disbanded. I mean, her club was already dis disbanded. Kind of our fault. And it seems like she really wants to join the Tactics Club. Can't we use all the recruitments we can get at this point? Or the recruits, I guess, is probably what it said. Alright. But you're taking responsibility for her if she does turn out to be a spy. Alright. Play Jania's model. Module at the CNC table. Alright, Jania. I'll play your little game here. Some new enemies we haven't seen before, and 
the normal required players. Okay, so yeah, so Anjaya is not going to be on the board because she's the game master now, I guess. The Siege of Lember Lemberberg. All right, let's go. Okay, my first time as Catacomb Master. How are we feeling, everybody? Looks like everyone's here. Let's start. Ahem. The sun sets over the sleepy town of Lemonburg, the same way it has set millions of times before. But this time, a strange malaise hangs about the air. Something unnatural is afoot. The deepening purple twilight crests over the hills, its ominous coloration. Uh, hey, you were trying to work on conciseness in your writing, right? Right, yes, sorry. Okay, um, so you've met this psychomancer in the local tavern? There seems to be some kind of townsperson seeking adventures to aid the farms in their, on the village outskirts against a vamp orc raiding party. A vampire orc? So just bandits? Um, yeah, it's that, is that bad? Not at all! Janya assures the, okay, so her name's Janya. Assures the helpless villagers that we heroes are eager to heed the call of adventure. You named your character after yourself? Oh, uh, yeah, so her name was Janya and Janya. Okay, it's spelled differently. To adventure! I guess we've been pronouncing her name wrong the whole time. Um, so you are there. Probably don't want, oh, well, I can't put my people out here. All right, so that seems good. Enter battle, please. Well, actually, show me what her moves are. Psychic Shout. It does two damage in range. Arc Attack and the Mag Mist. Okay. I start the bat start the battle by conjuring Mag Mist. Uh, with Psychic Shout. Seriously? This stuff only makes enemies weak against magical damage. Rogi and Edelwald only do physical damage. It's useless for us, the rest of your party. Worry not. My Psychomancer magic will defeat these foes. I think you're perhaps, um... A little wrong? But whatever. There we go. I mean, I could probably just bash these fools to death immediately. Now you're in Magamist, but whatever. Oof. And, um... I'll stand in the mist, whatever. It gets me closer to the enemy. And turn, please. I still have turns units that can act, yeah, but but Rogi really can't act. All he can do is pull people and I Oh I can't I can reach him? Okay. Well never mind. Thank you, game. Didn't think I could reach that far. Well there we are. And turn please. So normally yeah, that move would only have hit for two, but because he was undamaged it hit for an extra one, which is enough to kill him. You can't reach. I mean, I guess you can Maga miss this person. Well, let's let's think about this. Um, if you move here, well, your Maga mist can't kill. Well, I, I feel like there's an optimal strat here, but. What it is, I don't know. <laughs> um, so you do through damage, but you have armor. Yes, yeah, so I can't kill you. Alright, so yeah, let's just move here. Let's attack you. I know it's only one point, but whatever. Let's just kill you, please. And, um, I guess I... There we are. Not enough to kill, but good enough to damage. Yeah, 
That's fine. I'll take a hit. I don't care. Player turn. And, um, I would just like to... Please... We know that you've already had yours, so you can have a smoke bomb blight. Just to knock them out with a tactic power. Staggeringly super savvy. Ideal. Yeah, that was actually more fun than I expected. Um, I wouldn't mind adding a little more flavor, though. I get that was a little, uh, simple. Maybe I can take some time to actually write something and get back to you. Accepted. I must go check on Handel anyways, and see how he is coping with my absence. Farewell for now. Come find me when you're ready to continue. Oh, are you two the twins? Are you and Handel, like, brother and sister? Find Janya. Uh... And read the note outside the stadium. Okay, is that the only thing we have to... No, we also have to do all that stuff. Create a poster in the art room, write an essay in the the in the library. I want to go find Jacob. Sorry, Colin. Jacob? Jacob. Buddy, I have these tokens. Do you want them? Oh, hey, Alicia. What's up? Uh, so, uh, I have these arcade tokens that may or not be stolen. Uh, so they may or not be stolen. I gotcha. Hot uh -huh. property, huh? I can take them off your hands if you want. Please do. It'd be weight off my mind. No problem. I know exactly what to do with these. Go to the arcade and play with them? This isn't for anything nefarious, is it? They're arcade tokens, Alicia. Anyways, I promise not to get caught. Alright, thank you. Did he write Wintermore is great? Hey, man. You've been staring at the same page in that magazine for a really long time. What's up? It's an ad for that new game, Tempest. It's got 3D graphics with quadriscan color. This is the future. I've got to try it. Oh, yeah. They got that at that Phoenix Arcade down the hill. Let's check it out this weekend. Turns out I just so happen to have come upon a small fortune in arcade tokens. No, nah, it's fine. Sneaking off campus isn't worth the risk. They've got more than just Tempest, dude. Galaga, Donkey Kong, Space Dungeon. Uh, stuff you gotta see to believe. That sounds amazing, but... We nearly got caught last time, remember? With the burgers? Hey, Colin. In all the years we've hung out, have you ever actually gotten blamed for stuff we've done together? Yes, that time in fourth grade with the snake. Mrs. Marath still won't look my mom in the eye at the grocery store. Dude, she's still alive? Anyway, that means I haven't gotten you in trouble for six or seven years or something, right? But if we get caught this time, then I'll take the fall. Come on, you need a break. This tournament is stressing you out. I've got 31 tokens that need to disappear quietly. What the hell? Let's do it. Thanks for looking out. Hey, upgrade for Edwald, the Glaive of the Tempest. Righteous Strike becomes Righteous Tempest, a physical attack which hits enemies in every direction. Yeah, why did you write Wintermore is great? Now it says Wintermore is great? Who wrote that? This is a travesty. A travesty? I can't believe Enfield's regime would vandalize my art like this. Hey, Jacob, wow, did the school really do this? Who else would change my subversive message into something this corporate? I'll show them, Alicia. I need your help. Uh, uh me? Yeah, you're an upstanding member of the school. You probably know where there's cleaning supplies and stuff, right? Can you get me some spray paint remover or whatever? I'm taking this sellout slogan down. Better a clean wall than this dirty message. Uh, I guess I can look for something. So I take back everything I said about um, having an episode be, uh, be a chapter because the chapters are rather long it seems. Yeah, so one side quest here. So let's bump over there, find some cleaning supplies. Maybe in the art room. The art room might have uh, cleaning supplies. Because they clean up paint. Excuse me, what's that? Why, why is there a big...
Oh, is this the spying ability? Why is that kid standing in front of the door? Isn't he part of the equestrian club? Hey, y'all. Just so you know, I still don't see any horses. Jesse, your duty is to guard the door, not endlessly confirm that horses do not live in hallways. Still, though, gotta make sure, right? Just in case. Hmm. We should see what they're up to. He seems pretty easy to distract. With the right strategy, maybe I can find something in the art room. Ah, draw a horse. There's drawing supplies in the art room for Spirit Week. If I can draw a convincing horse. Well, I guess I'll take the only easel that's not used right now. Okay, I can make a poster about why we don't need clubs. Or I can draw a horse to distract that kid. I'll just draw something, then decide what to do with it. Do I seriously have to... <laughs> I really have to draw a freaking horse? I can't draw a horse in real life. Okay, we got Thick Boy. We got Thick Boy. Um, which is even thicker than Thick Boy, even though they both say Thick Boy. Um, we got a pen. We got... Oh god, do I really have to draw a freaking horse? Um... I don't want to draw a horse, you guys. I don't know what a horse looks like. Um. All right, let's let's start with a, a circle for a horse head, and then a then a snout. And by snout, I mean some kind of. Is that what a horse looks like? Um. A neck. A horse's neck. Horse body, which is. A fairly large shape. Okay, that that this is a duck. This is a freaking duck on a horse body, you guys. Um, I need a mane. I need a flowing mane. That's not what a horse head looks like at all. Uh, never mind. I haven't seen too many horses. Uh, <laughs> actually, I've probably seen plenty of horses. I just forget what a horse looks like. Um, I'm gonna need some legs and uh, maybe a how does a a knee. There we are, a knee, and maybe like a, a wrist, or like a little foot here, and I'll give him another, it's, it's, it's hopping, okay? And what is a, a horse, the back legs go different, right? Yeah, like this. So it's, it's, it's leaping over something, give a little, 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 and, and maybe it's doing it's just a little doing a little jaunt a little jaunty jaunt and um, a little bit of little, little little tail there we are that's that's our horse duck um, we'll, we'll give it a, a flowing red mane and uh, it's it's leaping over a body of water here we are there it is that's the horse duck. Done. Okay then, how am I gonna use this poster? Uh, it's a horse. Yeah, that looks horseish. I hope this horse idea works. <laughs> they actually show it. You sure this will distract them, even if it was the best picture in the world? Uh, that's not to say this isn't a good picture. Only one way to find out, right? <laughs> hey everybody, it's a horse! I can't believe it, a horse in the hallway! Nay, everyone! What the blazes? I knew it! Jesse, you're such an idiot. They are all so obsessed with their work, they didn't notice the horses under their noses, our noses all along. Yeah, fool. You absolute fool. I can't believe that worked. Now's our chance. Alright. To the science lab. What are they doing in the science lab? No idea. They always used to be out in the stables when we had stables. So, with no horses, what does the equestrian club do all day? That's exactly what we need to find out. Just open it a crack. We don't want them to notice us. Indeed, we do not want them to notice us. Yes, yes, we're so close. Craft team, report. 
the paper mache or the papier mache, if I want to be act very uh, very specific, is drying on schedule. Well done. But say you, de science detachment. It's not quite right. It's impossible to simulate the natural beauty and elegance of a horse's movement. Why limit ourselves to the natural? What do you mean? A simple solution. Ah, uh, we didn't give our horses ears. That's why I like a freaking duck. Anyways, um, <laughs> rockets. Uh, our horse needs rockets. You're mad. The Equestrian Club will have a horse by any means necessary. Robo horse. The greatest horse of the world has ever seen. Hee 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 hee. You're a mad woman. You're an absolute mad woman. Uh. What? Maybe we should go. You scouted the Equestrian Club. You'll get a bonus for scouting the mysterious science project. Are they building a robot horse? All right, well, I will end the episode since I don't want it to get too much longer. We definitely... Uh, it seems like we definitely will not be making these one chapter an episode unless we want them to be really long. But, uh, for now, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope to see you again next time.